Now we have exercise 5F, which is all about the combinations. Let's start with the first question. It says, find the number of ways in which five apples can be selected. You see, this is the key word now, selected. We're not going to arrange them. We're just going to select them. Okay, find the number of ways in which five apples can be selected from eight apples. So this should be eight, eight. C, five. Okay, we only need to choose them. We just select them. Then it says, uh, from nine apples and 12 oranges. From nine apples and 12 oranges. So this means you have to do it 9C5 times 12C0. We don't need any orange over here. We need nine, uh, we have nine apples and we need to select five apples. So that is why this is gonna be 9C5. And we don't need any orange. So, so that is why I have times 12 C0. One of you, please keep on, keep a check on the answers. Okay. Uh, question number two. Uh, if you people are not raising any, any hand or any issue or not asking anything. So that means you people are clear. Okay. So I'm moving on to the second question now. Question number two, it says, from seven men and eight women, okay? So we have men and women. We have seven men and we have eight women, okay? From seven men and eight women, find how many ways there are to select four men and five women. Please remember this and in between. This and is always transformed into uh, multiplication. Okay. So four men and five women. Would anyone like to share her answer or the way she has done that? Four men and it would be seven C four times eight C five. Yeah, exactly. So seven, we just need four men from seven men and we need five women from eight women. So this is 7C4 times 8C5. Okay, then it says three men and six women. Three men and six women. So that should be 7C3 times 8C6. Okay, and then it says at least 13 people, at least 13 people. So when you have at least 13, so that means it can be 13 or 14 or 15. See, there is or coming in between. So we need at least 13 people from these 15 people now. Okay, we're not saying men or women, we're saying people. So from 15, so this should be 15 C 13 plus 15 C 14 plus 15 C 15. Okay. If there is any problem yes, from here, please make your things clear. Third question, it says, uh, how many different hands of five cards can be dealt from a standard deck of 52 cards? So that is, if you people play cards, you know that is 52 C5. We need to choose five cards from 52 cards. Okay, so that is going to be 52 C5. How many of the hands in, a, in part A consist of the 26 red cards, uh, three of the 26 red cards and two of the 26 black cards? If you guys play, I uh, have played cards, you know, there are half of them are red and half of them are black. So now we need uh, three red and two black. So this should be 26 C3 times 26 C2. Okay, that is how you get this. Ask you and. There is and, yeah, we multiply multiplying them. We need three red and two 
black cards. So 26 C3 times 20. If it was that we need to have 20, uh, three red cards or two black cards, then you could have, could have added them. Okay. G, sir. Yes. Okay. It says from the question number four now. It says from the 26 letters of English alphabet, find how many ways there are to choose six different letters. So this is simply 26 C6. 20 different letters. So this is going to be uh, 26 C20. Okay, now it's B part is very interesting. If you have calculators, please tell me what is 26 C6? Yes, please tell me. Sir, 230230. Now without using the calculator, I can tell you this will also be 230230. Hmm? You know why? If you people have um, done your yeah. yes, very carefully, how many of you have realized that 3C1 is always same as 3C2 or 4C1 is same as 4C3 or 5C1 is equal to 5C4. They are equal, they are equal. Even 5C2 is equal to 5C3. Have you ever noticed that? Hmm? Yes, sir. No? Like if you have 6C2, that will be equal to 6C4. Do you have any, any reason keeping in mind these uh, choices or the combinations that why they are same? Like why 6C2 is same as 6C4? Because uh, two plus four is six. Yeah, like for example, if you want to choose two from six, okay? The question is you want to choose two from six and, and another person is saying, no, I'm going to reject four from six. So selecting two from six is same as rejecting uh, like four from six, Anna? So that is why you have the same answer. For example, you have three items with you and you want to choose one of those three. So indirectly, that means you're rejecting two of those three. Yes or not? Anna? You yes, sir. So this is always same. For example, if you have, uh, if I write this purely in terms of this B part. So if you have X, C, Y, that is equal to X, C, Z. So what is the condition on this Y and Z? And X. So y, y plus Z should be equal to X. Equal to X, okay. So this was really interesting. Okay, now uh, from this, we move on to the other side of this. Um, yeah, you can do, you can, you must try up to this. Though we can do all these questions, but you should at least try five, six, and seven. Yes. Fifth question. In a classroom, there are four lights, each operated by a switch that has an on and an off position. How many possible lighting arrangements are there in the classroom? Okay, let me have some space for the working. And then we try this. <clears throat> okay. Now, suppose uh, these are the four, four switches, yeah, four lights, okay. Achha. Now, these four lights can be like, they can be all off, there can be one on, there can be two on, three of them can be on, or all 
four of them can be on, okay? So if all are off, can I say this is four C four, okay? Or you can also say that four C zero, that is the same. Remember, four C four is same as four C zero, okay? Three are off, four C three, or you can say one is on, if you keep on in your mind, okay? This is gonna be four C two, this is four C two. This one is four C one. This one is four C three. This one is four C zero. This one is four C four. So either you add all of these or you add all of these, you should have the right answer. Please do that and tell me if your answer is matching with the correct answer. Uh, sir, let me Sir, can you also do the factorial method like four factorial divided by three factorial and like that? Can we do it like that? We, we can't, we don't need to do that because uh, th these are, uh, that way, like it's, it would be the same because 4C1 is basically four factorial, factorial over three factorial. So it is up to you because. Um, Look at this, This uh, these three um, off over here, it can be like this, like you know, this one can be on, or this one can be on, or this one can be on, okay? So these are all off over here. So this, if you use four factorial, then you will have to divide it by three factorial. By the way, did, do you get the same, I mean, correct answer if you have, this is one. Yes, sir. This is four, this is six, this is four, this one is one. Okay, so uh, we do a girl from uh, one of your sections, she did it like this, two raised to power four, and she still got the correct answer, <clears throat> two raised to power four. Because she said, look, these are four switches. This can be on and off. There are two options. There are two options. There are two options. And then there are two options. So that is why, and she was absolutely right. That is two raised to power four. This can be on and off. Then this can be on and off. So you see, we got the same answer in both the ways. Okay, do you have any question here, Bacho? Hmm? No, then we move on to the sixth question. It says from six boys and seven girls, find how many ways there are to select a, a group of three children that consists of more girls than boys. Okay, now this is where you have to list uh, the possible um, combinations here. So let me clear this first. Okay, um, so question number six. We have um, number of boys that is six and number of girls that is seven. So we have to have uh, three children. Look at this, three children and there should be more girls, okay? So I listed like this, there's girls and there is a boys, seven and this is six. So it can be all girls, no boys two girls and one boy, that's it. So this would be, so these are the two possible. So this can be three girls and one boy or, or two girls and one boy. So that is why this would be seven C three times six C zero plus seven C two times six C one. So these are the two cases where we have more girls than boys. Okay, suppose if the question was that we have to choose five children so that um, we have more girls, okay? So then this could be five and zero. This could be four, one, and then there could be three, two as well, okay? That is how you could have done that. So this would be seven C five times six C zero, 7C4 times 6C1 plus 7C3 times 6C2. 
Okay, bacho. And the last question of the day, it says, um, a bag contains six red fuses, okay? Five blue fuses and, and then four yellow fuses, okay? Let me clear this area first and then I do it. Okay. Okay. So, um, yes. So this is, we have number of red. There are six. Number of blue, there are five. Number of yellow, there are four. Now he hasn't told us that they're identical, okay? So each fuse has to be different from the other fuse. So he says, find how many ways there are to select three fuses of different colors. Three fuses of different colors. Is any idea about how to do that? Three colors, three fuses of different colors. Hmm? 6C1 times 6C1 times 6C1. Yes, thank you, Veda. So that is how you will do that. We will choose one from red, one from blue, and one from yellow. Okay? So 6C1 times 5C1 times 4C1. Okay? Part B. It says three fuses of the same color. Yes. Who would tell us? 6C3 plus 5C3 plus 5C3 plus 4C3. Very good. But it means all three can either be red, they can be blue, or they can be yellow. Plus 4C3. Okay. Part C. 10 fuses in exactly two colors. 10 fuses in exactly two colors. So you will have to list them. Okay. You can have red, blue, or red yellow or blue yellow okay so no, we need to have blue yellow because 10 to oh. yes yes beta, yes so blue or yellow won't make 10 oh yes so that that comes later so right now we have to choose uh 10 so i, I have written down the the combination and then see red blue we have 11 this is 11 c 10 plus red, yellow. Yeah, that is 10, C, 10, and blue, yellow. Yeah, they are just nine. So we can take out of uh, 10 out of nine. So that would be it, okay? Nine fuses in exactly two colors. So uh, this would now be R, B, or R, Y, or B, Y. So now this can be 11 C9 plus 10 C9 and then plus 9 C9. Acha bacho, I have uh, given you enough practice from your textbook. And inshallah, in your next class, we'll be trying the questions from past papers. Okay. While I'll be doing that, uh, let me uh, conclude the session here and see you in the next session. Uh, with the questions from the past papers.